Okay, so for tonight, I am talking retro achievements. So what is retro achievements? It's a little system that we can use in order to literally get achievements whilst playing particular retro games. And something really awesome about retro achievements is that this system continues to support more and more emulators out there. Quite recently, we've seen this for the PCSX2 emulator, obviously that's PlayStation 2, uh, PSP, and even other multi-emulators such as BizHawk. Now, I'm gonna leave the link in my description for the website and I briefly covered this in various videos in the past especially Retrobat and how to add retro achievements uh, predominantly most of you out there will be playing your retro games through something like RetroWatch in that case retro achievements is also supported by RetroWatch and it's very easy to set up as well now if we just go over to the download emulator section it's going to tell us just here emulators supporting retro achievements and like I was just saying BizHawk is included and of course BizHawk is actually a system that I covered as a setup guide a little while back and it's a system that supports from the Sega 32X right to the Bandai Wonderswan uh, DuckStation has also recently had an implementation of supporting retro achievements uh, like I was just saying also PCSX2 uh, Game Boy Advance and Game Boy Cutter emulators are also being supported by retro achievements so without a doubt retro achievements really is getting somewhere nowadays if you're not sure why it is like i was saying it really is a cool little feature to add to your retro gaming experience so achievements started making a thing of themselves around the xbox 360 ps3 era and it means that every time we reach a certain point of a game it will literally reward us with a little pop-up in a sound maybe and the good thing about retro emulation and using retro achievements is that you actually got a community and we also got scoreboards so if you're a really competitive type of player like a lot of people are then you can actually match other people's scores and try beating them if we go to the achievements section at the top of the retro achievements website let's just go to hardest achievements so the hardest achievements as of recording this video is going to be defeating bowser in bowser in the sky so if we just click onto this that's going to be for Super Mario 64, obviously on Nintendo 64. We also got more here. So let's just go for True Metroid. If we go down to True Metroid, uh, True Metroid Master, get all items, break all red doors and reach escape elevator. So of course, most of your popular games are supported by retro achievements, but I will also warn that not every game is supported by it. But that continues to keep updating itself with new supported games. If we go to download retro achievements, you can obviously download retro achievements to support the system of your choice. So if we just scroll down, you're going to find retro watch just here. So we can download the RetroArch version of achievements and it's fairly simple to implement. Um, if you do use RetroBat, do check out my RetroBat playlist in adding retro achievements to that. And of course, we also got a community to use for retro achievements. And let me just remind you that this is absolutely free as well. So not only are you making your retro games look a little bit more current, a little bit more modern, but you've also got a very active community. So, you know, there's a post here from the 31st of January. So very recent stuff. It's gonna give us lots of updates and news for BizHawk, for example, DSi support is here. So, so much going on in the Retro Achievements community right now. And if we go to games at the top, we can actually look for particular platforms and it's games what Retro Achievements are for. So, for example, if we go to NES Famicom, and this is gonna give you the entire list of all the NES and Famicom games that Retro Achievement supports. So there is a hell of a lot there. And it's also gonna tell us how many achievements is available in each game. For example, 10 Yard Fight Achievements is gonna be 15 in that particular game. It's also give you a little countdown how many points you can achieve from uh, playing that particular game. So really lots of fun to be had with Retro Achievements. I can't recommend it enough. So if I just take you to my profile, if I go to Unlocked Achievements, I've got all the achievements here that I've recently unlocked. And if we go up to the profile and go to Completion Progress, it also keeps tabs on what game I was playing and it tells us the percentages here. So for example, Russian Attack or Green Berries is known in the UK on Commodore 64 at least. It's gonna tell us here that I've actually earned 5%, I would say 100% achievements. Uh, also Alien Trilogy, 
I've uh, earned myself a really pitiful 1% of achievements in that game. So that's it for retro achievements. I thought it was about time I did a little video on explaining what retro achievements is. And like I've been saying, I have done this for Retrobat. And as long as you're using something like RetroArch powering your games for another front end system like Launchbox, you'll be able to implement RetroArch and its retro achievements feature very easily. I totally recommend it, especially for competitive players out there as you see in this video we got scoreboards on there and if you take a good look at the website and the rankings there's some really incredible scores in there so anyways i'll leave the link in my description for the website itself and like i was saying it's also free to register and join and also use the forums and if you do use retrobat then i'll link the link to my retrobat retro achievement setup in the description this also and if you want help with setting up retro achievements for whatever front end or emulator you're using drop me a comment below and i'll get onto that asap but anyways if you liked today's video hit notification subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content also check me out on social media i'm on facebook instagram twitter and tiktok but until next time stay retro